Who doesn't like a good story about budget stuff? Budget items, gear. It's kind of a, uh, a love-hate relationship that often goes awry, but you know, every once in a while you kind of get that one item that really works out and you just fall in love with it and you're so happy. And it lasts forever and it turns out being exactly what you wanted. Well, today we are going to go over the bird line of knives. Now these are ultra, ultra budget items and they are produced over in China by Spyderco. So these are like for the people who, who, who want something that's quality but can't really afford it, this is definitely where you want to be at. This is the Bird Kara Kara 2 and this is the Bird Metal Arc 2. And these are just fantastic knives, guys. These knives are, these are one of the ones that you fall in love with. You pick it up, you play with it, you love it. That's basically how it goes. Um, Spider Co. kind of, as a company, they make really high quality stuff. And, and I love the, the little spider hole or the bird opening hole, however you want to call this one. But they make awesome, awesome stuff. It, it, it really is a quality item. For the price and and this stuff is even better I mean it's just you know it's half the price to a third of the price of their normal stuff designed exactly like the the more high quality stuff that they that spider Co. produces but with a couple of little features that may or may not be better you know for instance the cheaper price generally is going to come with the steel that's used but for this thing it's 8 CR 13 MOV and that is just awesome steel I still love it It really takes a wicked edge my uh, tenacious comes in that and it's just a great knife now this is the uh, the metal arc 2 and this was closely designed after the Delica 4 it's very very similar the uh, there's a couple of things let me just break one out for you this is the Delica 4 and they are almost identical in size and shape and a lot of different things um, I don't, let's see if you can see that they're very similar and for those of you who can't go out and pick up a Delica this is a $60 knife generally speaking unless you get it in ZDP 189 this is about a $60 knife and it's sweet I love the Delica I'm gonna do a video on this eventually but you should definitely go pick one up put this one over here for the moment the only thing I would say is like and this is one of you kinda of get a trade-off here you get the VG10 steel with the Delica, but you also don't get this. I mean, you're only getting the ACR13 MOV, but look at this finger choil. You probably can't see it that well, but it has jimping underneath, and I love that. I love it. You can choke up and really get in there and kind of do what you got to do. This thing is so sweet. The ergonomics on this are awesome. This one does not have a finger choil. Now, the jimping up top is much, much higher, higher quality than, the, uh, than both of these knives. The jimping on this is really just kind of non-existent. I'll put this off the table for the time being. Uses, these are definitely EDC budget items slash, mm, I don't, I guess I, that's definitely the category I put them in. I'd put them as EDC budget items, but they're really high quality for being 25 to 30 bucks. Um, I really love the finger choil, but like I was saying, the, uh, the jimping up top is really, non-existent it doesn't really do much in the way of stopping your hand it's okay but the delicate jimping that is incredible so you're getting a trade-off there it has this choil with the under grooves and the jimping underneath but you also don't have as high quality jimping as you would with the delica brand so you're you know there's this or that but it does have this frn fiberglass reinforced nylon handle which is exactly the same as the delica this one has that like bi-directional texturing which means that these are going down and these are going up so it, it really has a a nice comfortable grippiness to it when you're holding it and like I said that really adds a lot the the little finger troll there that really adds a lot of control over the blade itself but as an overall whole love this knife weight really really lightweight you guys know I don't like to get into the details as far as knife material or uh, blade lengths and all that stuff but you know for the purposes of this video we will do that um yeah it's about two and a half inch blade so you got about two and a half inch blade on this thing uh, about let's see maybe get this a little bit better here about six and three quarters inch total so overall not a bad size for an EDC knife like I was saying just say very similar to the Delica comes out of the box crazy sharp crazy sharp love it let's test this one out 
Same way. Also a much bigger blade. I'm gonna see if I can make some curls with this thing. Eh, whatever. Much bigger blade. And this one is kind of a, a mock-up of the Spyderco Endura. Now, overall, if you like big knives, this might be something for you, but I'm not a real big fan. Look at this thing. I mean, if my hand's all the way down here at the bottom, it's like a freaking folding sword. It's crazy. It's huge. This is like a cold steel espada. That's kind of how it feels. It's just huge. It does have this finger choil also. So, I mean, it does have its uses. Some people like big knives. I personally do not. I like a nice medium-sized knife, and this thing is a little too large for me to, uh, to really be able to care you know, about whether I'm carrying it or not. It's kind of big. This one, perfect size. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, like I was saying, the materials, very similar to the Delica. That The only thing that really changes here is the blade steel, and it's still really not a bad blade steel. I really like that. It just is not going to retain its edge as long. So it's kind of an even trade-off. But, you know, is, is VG10 really worth $25 difference to fit $30 difference? Eh, Probably, but you know, it's all relative. If you're on a budget, you're on a budget. All right, let's move this like that. So, fun factor this is a really kind of no frills, bare bones kind of thing. It's fun to play with, nothing really glamorous about it. It's just kind of average, but it's not bad. It's okay. The fun factor is, eh, whatever. Ease of owning, HCR 13 is. It, it does kind of rust, so you're going to have to, you know, maintain it a little bit. It's not bad, but you're, you're going to have to, you know, keep up with it just because it's a cheaper steel, so it is going to rust. And if you don't put a light coat of oil on it before carrying it, then you may have an issue with it. But if you go buy one of those uh, knife erasers, eh, which I do have, it's really not that big of a deal. As far as the reputation is concerned, um, as long as you get a... As long as you get a non-knockoff version of it, because there are a lot of fakes out there, if you get a original version of it, one made by the company itself, then I've heard really good stuff about them. I personally have never had a spider coat break on me, so I haven't had to send it in. No real issues with it. But everything I've heard is good. So if you have an issue, I would definitely say that Spyderco has a, a solid reputation for making their knives and, and backing their quality. Now, like I was saying, the uh, the Delica is a fifty-five to sixty something dollar knife, and it's amazing. You'll love it. You definitely will. It'll probably be one of your most favorite knives. Like I said, no frills, but it's going to be fifty-five to sixty dollars. This one is twenty dollars, maybe less. You could probably get it for around eighteen to twenty-five. We'll say in that range for these two knives. Both really, really awesome. This one is a little bit more popular just because it's, I, I don't know, that's maybe it's Amazon and everybody that buys it, but this is a little large for me personally. So if you're looking for something a little bit more EDC slash pocket friendly, I would definitely look into the Metal Arc 2 because that thing is awesome. Equally awesome, just a little too large for me. Um, as far as cheaper versions of these knives or cheaper knives in general, you're not really going to find them. You're not going to find anything with this quality made by Spyderco slash Bird, which is the parent company of, of uh, Spyderco, you're not going to find anything that's this quality and this craftsmanship with this kind of material for cheaper than that. This is a great deal. Don't you know even bother looking at something that costs $10 that's made in Walmart or made you know by some other company. This is an awesome knife. Go pick one up because you will love both of these equally. Assuming you like big knives, go with this one. If not, go with this one. But either way, very high quality stuff. For the cost, you're not going to find anything better. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. We will be back.